Hello everyone, my name is Sean Sebring and I am a solution architect at SolarWinds. I am excited to join you today to talk about a special announcement specifically for SolarWinds Service Desk. So some of the history behind the SolarWinds Service Desk or even SolarWinds in general is pretty focused on IT and IT teams. Uh, when we think about the Service Desk, we're thinking about ITIL and ITSM processes and practices. So first and foremost, I want to thank you for allowing us to be part of your journey and for trusting us with your critical processes and practices. So as we've gone through this journey with our IT customer base, uh, one of the things we've done is collect a lot of feedback. And specifically from these IT teams, a lot of the feedback's been about extending beyond IT. So when we think about beyond IT, of course, we're thinking about other departments such as legal, finance, and one of the most common ones, human resources. So what are we talking about when we're talking about extending processes beyond IT? To give you a good example, uh, human resources with an onboarding experience, this is something that we face challenges with a lot, or rather other parts of the organization might. So when we're talking about extending these processes beyond IT, um, we're really talking about ways to help limit or, or erase or eliminate some of the challenges that they're currently facing without these best practices in place. So what are some of those common challenges? When I think uniquely about that pretty broad onboarding experience through human resources, uh, some of the things that I think about are, well, first of all, how many departments are involved with a new hire? You might think initially just human resources, but to onboard a new person, we're talking about their desk setup, that could be facilities, their access to the building, that's with security, and then of course their hardware, that's with IT. Legal, finance, right, we've gotta pay our people. So with all of these different departments, with different pieces to this single process, is this just IT service management or is this something beyond? What other common challenges do we face? There could be lost requests. Uh, think about the end user's experience in having to go to multiple portals, one for IT, a different system for human resources, just an email for facilities assistance. Unifying that experience and creating a single place for all consumers, whether it's IT as a consumer of human resource services, or if it's facilities consuming an IT service, we're all both providers of services and consumers of services. So what we're gonna be focusing on today is where we're gonna to get to with this announcement. So I've thrown ITSM around a couple times now and then beyond IT, which is the crux of this announcement, what we're offering now is Enterprise Service Management, ESM. So another acronym to throw in the arsenal, but again, the most important part is service management. And with it being Enterprise Service Management, we're focusing on the entire organization, not just IT. With us being in IT, the service management pros with tools that we've been developing and building, processes and practices that we've developed over years and years, let's bring these service management best practices to all of the service providers in the organization. Let's make this enterprise service management adopted throughout the entire organization. What this presents is an opportunity to improve ways of working. Again, as IT teams have adopted tools for ITSM, we understand the value of the practices and the capabilities that platforms can provide. So offering this to other parts of the organization to tailor their specific way of providing their service in a tool designed for service management and combining that with a centralized place for end users to engage with all of their service providers is really going to bring the organization into a way better user experience. One of the other parts that I wanna emphasize here is we're not talking about adding a piece of complexity for these other parts of the organization, these other service providers. With SolarWinds Service Desk, what we're offering is a simple solution that offers the powerful results of service management. And what I mean by simple solution is we're talking low code to no code, click, drag and drop, a very easy lift, uh, for configuration, um, and also something that can be managed still at the organizational level while still allowing all of the service providers to manage and tailor their individual service management experience. So what does this actually look like? How about a demonstration? Let's take a look at what it means to organize 
your service management, both for the entire company as well as individual service providers. So a great starting place is going to be looking at the corporate overview portal. So what is this portal? If we're talking about introducing different service providers, we still need a main landing page for the entire organization to know which service provider they're looking to engage with. So as we start here, we can see things like legal, finance, human resources, and these are basically jumps to go to your individual service providers. You still have all the same capabilities of branding, announcements, and other quick links that you would want to provide here. But again, this is your corporate organizational portal. So let's start by drilling into an individual service provider. Let's start with human resources. So what we're looking at now is the human resource specific portal. And it looks from a design standpoint pretty similar to the organizations, but what it's offering, the buttons, and the different services that you're able to engage with are unique to human resources. And this portal was designed by HR. So again, this is the concept of allowing a different service provider to curate their own experience tailored around the services and knowledge that they're offering. As an administrator of the organization, we can also note that I may not be able to access the administrative side of human resources. So if we want to talk about the ease of customization, which we can see that the design on both of them is fairly similar, let's just look at that click, drag, and drop that we were talking about previously. So we're going to jump into the administrative side from the organization level and just show you a little bit about how you can, again, curate that service portal. So this is your portal designer. Notice how I can just click, drag and drop, as we'd said. We can resize, reshape, rearrange, and adding the new tiles in is as easy as selecting which tile you want. And then once it's in there, adding a label, changing the colors, and putting a URL for where you want that button to take somebody. Things like announcement messages and widgets specific to the different services or knowledge that you can offer. With it being click, drag, and drop and no code, this means that we're not adding complexity for HR to design their portal. We're adding an opportunity for HR to create their own experience and their own service portal for their service consumers. Let's jump back to the organization side of things. And what we're going to do here is actually operate off the organization level, not looking at any unique service provider, but our organization as a whole. So we can see here at the organization level, there's a list of departments. And these departments will carry through to all of the service providers. So let's take a look at what does it mean to add another service provider to our organization. And I don't mean to be dramatic, but prepare to have your minds blown. We're going to start by just clicking this plus and it is as simple as labeling who is the service provider. Give it a quick description if you want. Name the extension of what you want their service provider URL to be. We even give you the option to change what is their main record type going to be. Is it a ticket, an incident, a work request, case? And that's it. Press create and you've added another service provider to your organization. Again, at the organization level, let's talk about managing different things like users and the ingestion of users, as well as single sign-on. Something to note about this is at the org level, there's really only need for two roles. You're either an admin administering who's in and out of the entire organization, or you're a requester intending to navigate to one of the other service provider portals. Now let's break that down a little bit further, and let's go into the setup side of, again, let's say the human resource portal. So here at this level, where someone may have been a requester for the organization, they can be an administrator for human resources. And the same thing can be true in the reverse. An administrator of the organization can be listed as only a requester in the human resource instance. So what this provides is a layer of security so that human resources not only has the opportunity to provide a unique service provider experience, but they can also do it trusting and knowing that the data is secure and only accessible to human resources. The same is true for other departments. We've mostly been talking about human resources, but this carries over to departments like marketing and facilities. And each of these different places has their own opportunity to manage things 
such as a service catalog with different workflows and processes, different requests and knowledge, and different SLAs for their different services that they provide. Let's take a look at some unique examples. Starting on the people portal or the human resources portal, let's use the search. And we'll notice here that this is again gonna be a unique search to the services and knowledge that are being offered by the human resource team. So as we look for, let's just say, employee onboarding, we'll see a list of articles being offered as well as some services. This is gonna be a unique set that is different than what's offered on the IT portal or even the marketing portal. Speaking of marketing, let's take a look at their portal. Doing the same type of activity, leveraging our suggestions, which again are unique to each individual service provider, let's try looking for something in the marketing services. Content review. Looking in a content review, we actually have a specific service called content review request. So this was a request and form along with a workflow that was designed by the marketing team to ask the questions they need to ask in order to fulfill and deliver the service to their requester. Just like we'd said before, the design of both the form and the workflow is click, drag, and drop. So here's a quick look at that. It's really just that simple. Click, drag, and drop. Copy, paste, and rearrange to your heart's desire. So I hope you enjoyed that quick demonstration of enterprise service management, and I hope you can see immediately some of the value of moving beyond just IT to the other departments, the other service providers in your organization. If you liked what you saw and you're interested to see more, or if you're already a customer and want to see how you can get your hands on these features, either start a trial or reach out to your account manager. Thank you so much for being with me today, and I hope you enjoy this exciting announcement from SolarWinds for the SolarWinds Service Desk and Enterprise Service Management. Thanks.